Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine. Good evening. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Ready for our next class here? Yes, we are. Excellent. That's the attitude. All right. So, well, with this Monday vibes, we are going to um, start right now here because it's time already, right? And let's see this one. Well, let me see how many people I can see here. So good evening, Cesar, Roberto, Juan David, Milagro, Carolina, George, Ingrid, Jose Alejandro, Kimberly, Nelson, Norma, Stephanie, Margarita. And well, I hope I don't missing anybody here, right? So good evening, everybody. Welcome to the class. And let's start evening, right now. All right. So, well, how are you? How was your weekend? Uh, teacher, uh, in this moment, uh, I, 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 I be in the in the work in the job. Okay, uh, I am uh, in my job. Yes, please. I, I only, only I be uh, listener. Here, here, listener, please. Okay, very okay. good. No problem. Teacher. And, yes. Me, I'm driving. <gasps> Who's driving? Yeah, I'm driving. Oh, Ingrid. So I will be listening. Yeah. No problem. And be safe. All right. So be careful with that. Okay. So, thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Well, everybody, let's start right now. So we are going to like start practicing right here with one of my favorite activities, which is this one right here. All right. All right. All right. So, uh oh, that's not the one. <laughs> Excuse me. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. My bad. That's from the last class. All right. So this one right here, which is a review. All right. So let's see if you remember how do you say all those phrases in English. All right. So this is the topic. Remember the last class we were talking about uh, the gerund phrases, right? So um, like how do you say it's más interesante que menos interesante, más difícil, etc., 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 right? So we were talking about all those things right here. So let's say this one. Now, do I have any volunteer who can tell me, my friends, how do you say those phrases in English? Like number one, it says, right in English, diseñar ropas no es trabajo de hombre. How do you say that in English? Cesar, go ahead, tell me. Designing clothes, it's not a man's job. Uh -huh. All right, so design. That's designing. how you say design. <clears throat> designing. Uh -huh. Like that? Clothes. Clothes. Uh -huh. It's not. It's not. A man's job. I'm sorry, I have a little uh, sore throat. Job. No problem. And, but thank you for participating, Cesar. Good job. Designing. That's how you write designing, my friends. Mm -hmm. oh. No, 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 no. Ah, Without the right. first end. Without ah, the first end. Uh -huh. ah, like that? Besieging? The end is after the G. All right. So, the first, the first G. so it's supposed to be D, E, F, I, uh -huh. and A then? I, uh -huh. D, N, I, N. Okay, so you have an N here. Yes. Yay, exactly, right? Thank you very much. Are you sure this is like how you spell it? Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, I'm asking because that might be on a, on a test later, right? So you are going to uh, participate in this one. Thank you, Cesar. All right, so let's just continue with the next one. Number two, it says, write in English... Ser un asistente de vuelo no es be, un trabajo fácil. Be a, be a fly attendant, be. it's not, being a fly attendant, it's not an easy job. All right, being a fly, fly attendant. Attendant, así o attendant? Attendant, creo yo, creo que así, attendant. Like that uh, one. It's attendant. It's, it's not a easy job. 
is not a easy. Así, my friends. Wow. Is job. I don't know, oh, right? I, I don't remember. Uh huh. An easy job. An easy job, exactly. Uh -huh. And that's because you have a vowel, so you cannot have a. It has to be n, right? So, is that right now? Being applied to ten, then yes. Yes, good. Yeah, great, excellent. Thank you. Now we got number three. Number three, it says, write in English, salir con una mujer famosa ha sido mi más grande desafío. Oh my God. All right. So, what is it? Mm -hmm. Don't use um, Google Translator. Ah, I can see Google Translator there. Uh huh. <laughs> Getting, getting out with a famous Later. woman has been a big, my great, my great challenge. George, I truly appreciate your word, the volunteer, but getting out, mm, mm, how do you say estar saliendo con? Let's see, Roberto. Dating. Uh, dating. 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 Yeah, dating. yeah. Uh -huh, exactly, dating. because this is like the context. Lo demás estaba well. So, so how do you say this one? Dating. Dating with a famous, with the famous uh, woman. Has All been right. my greatest challenge. Roberto, we are going to eliminate the we, my B. Um, it's it's like literally a translator, right? So we eliminate this one. So we said dating a a woman. Famous, a, a famous, famous woman. woman. Famous woman. woman uh -huh. Has been my greatest has challenge. Been my uh -huh. greatest <laughs> challenge. Greatest challenge. Challenge. Like that, the my friend. Is right is wrong. The first. Uh-huh. Is it correct? If then is wrong in the challenge. Ah, how do you say it? Without the uh, with, with the with, without the end. The 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 that that then is is wrong. Okay, this one. No, no, no. No, the, 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 the first, first one. one. Ah, okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Is now correct? Yes. Teacher, uh, I have a question. And the number two, uh, the question mark and, and job, the question, uh, plus question mark uh, is, is correct? And, oh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, that was my mistake. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I was asking you guys <laughs> if the answer was correct. So, but no, no, it's not right. Okay. Okay, okay, thanks. You're very welcome, my friend. Sorry, we're going to actually fix it right now. Okay, one second. Okay. So let's see here. Okay, this one. Okay. Oops, I cannot delete it. So what about this one? Never mind, I can't. Never mind. But yes, it was my mistake. So no worries. You're correct. Number four, it says right here, right in English, estudiar inglés ha sido mi mejor decisión en mi vida. Mm -hmm. Again, study. Study. estudiar inglés no. ha Go sido... Ahead. Mi mejor decisión en la vida o de mi vida. Ajá. How do you say that one? Studying English has been my best choice in my life. Okay. Studying English. English has been my best choice. My best choice? In life. My best decision. My best decision. Sorry. My best decision in life. All right. How do you say that one then? Ah, uh -huh. okay. Let's see. Let's see if you can check this one. So we'll be like, decision. Like that. No. 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 How is it? Like this yes. one. Yes. No. no. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Actually, yes, it's correct mm -hmm. that way. Yeah. All right. So studying English has been decision. Oh, but I forgot something here before that one. Best. My best, My best decision. My best. My best decision. In life. Correct. My best decision. In life. In life. In life. In life. 
Very good. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. And then we go with the last one right here. Ahorrar algo de dinero mensualmente es una buena idea para yeah. comprar lo que tú necesitarás en el futuro. Oh my God, so long. All right? So, let's see. <laughs> saving, saving some, some mo money. Something, some money. Money. Monthly. It's a good idea. A monthly is a good idea. Saving some <laughs> money monthly is... It's a good idea. Uh, good idea. So, yeah. It's a good buy. idea. Uh -huh. For buying. For buying. To buy. buy. To buy. Or to buy. buy. No, what do you buy. mean? No, uh, to buy or for buying. I think it's in the stand. Yeah, it's just like the same thing. As long as you use for buying or to buy, right? Uh -huh. For buying. What? What I need what in the future. What do you need? What you what, will need in the future. What you will need in the future. What you will need in the future. <clears throat> Agree or disagree, my friends? For me, it's okay. Saving some money Please. monthly. It's a good idea for buying what you will need in the future. Right? Yeah. Yeah, right? It's good. Yeah. It's good. Great. Excellent. Thank you. So... Very good, my friends. And this is about the topic that we were studying ah. uh, Friday, right? Uh, well, questions about vocabulary or any other observation? No, yeah. let, let me let me uh, make a screen. Ah, take hold okay. on, hold on before okay. I do that one. Let me just okay. eliminate this question mark right here. Okay, Woo, I did it. You can do it now. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Thank All you. right, so let's just eliminate this and continue with the next one right here. Okay, 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 okay. Let's talk about this one. Activity number one. Now for today's class, uh, which is going to be this one. And it says, favors people dislike being asked. All right, so which means like favors that people don't like to do. All right, and we are going to see if it is true or not. All right, number one, it says right here, let me use your car. Oh my God, who has a car here? Do you have a car, Lucia, Jose, George? Do you have a car? Yes, no, I, I don't. Yeah. Oh, you don't? Yes, All do. right, so. Yes, I say, have. You say yes, would you let yes, me? Yes, I do. All right, oh, let, you, you do have a car, yes. All right, would you let me use your car? That depends. <laughs> On what? <laughs> or what? Depends, depends what for it. Well, to drive it so I can go to a meeting or anything. We have to be a, big, a, a close partner. Ah, okay. Okay. Perhaps that, that will make a difference, right? So, yeah. At least, like, I prefer not, like, nobody ask me about that. It's better. That's that's exactly what the topic is about, right? So I prefer like, mm -mm, no, thank you, right? So, yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. All right, so another one, another one. Well, people that you have a car, of course, right? So it says like, hey, you know, I have a trip to another <clears throat> country. Would you please drive me to the airport? Uh-huh. Like the next one right here, drive me to the airport. Do you think it's going to be comfortable for you or would you, would you think it twice? Before saying yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It depends on who is asking. Ah, okay. That's interesting. All right. So, of course, or, right? Or, because... or, or, or maybe it depends uh, how many days before they ask for it, uh, for the favor. That's another good point. And also, I, I will add, uh, depending on the hour, you know, the time. That, yeah. Yeah. Right. Because I, mine, they said, oh, it's going to be at 7 a.m. in the morning. Oh, my goodness. Traffic everywhere, right? Or at yeah. in the afternoon, right? 5 p.m. or anything like that. All right. So, well, out oh, the number three people. This is the reason why some friendships break, all right? Or disappear, right? This, this, this. Lend me some money. <sighs> Uh-huh, people. 
what happens when people say like, hey, Roberto, can you lend me five dollars, please? Mm, it depends <laughs> if the person is is trustful or not. A trustful or not, yeah. right? And how many times people have asked you for money and they never yeah. return yes. the money or they mm -hmm. never pay the money back, right? And five dollars is not a big deal. Mm -hmm. it, it is yeah, not, right? But you know, it gives you an you can, idea about you, what the person is about, right? But is right. if the person have a, a big necessity, yeah. could be, but could be, right? But well. Patricia actually talks about a very important point. If you say like five dollars, it's like okay, that's fine, right? So, yes. but you know, like five dollars very often, or yes. um, that's a different thing, right? Because you say like okay, five dollars once in a blue moon, fine, right? Okay. So, but five dollars once a week, that's a different. Thing, no, right? yeah, yeah, this is right? so. You're talking about twenty dollars a month, or just for that person. All right, so then, oh my God, just this is especially for girls. When a <laughs> girls is like, oh, let me, let me your hairbrush, please. I want to use it, right? Oh my God, I don't like to share my my hairbrush. Yeah, right. Great. Yeah, like especially oh. because you don't know if the other person actually takes care of his or her hair, okay, right? <laughs> so is imagine. That uh, how do you say, let's see if you know it, how do you say piojos? Uh -huh. I don't know how to say that in English. Lies, exactly, exactly. Lies, lies. lies. Do, you know, know one. do you know, teacher, what, is, what was the meaning of uh, lies for the Mexican? Oh, it, it, that's the reason, is that uh, the reason? Right. Free of free of lies. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> free, free of lies and it's uh, like fear lies. Oh, <laughs> <I also. laughs> this is this is like the Salvadorian story about La Cora, right? I maybe yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be a quarter of dollar, but you know, which yes. I know. All right, excellent. So then uh, you go on this one. This is actually something that you can ask for to someone you really trust, right? Like mm -hmm. Take care of your pet while you are away. Would you take care of your pet? Um, it depends. Oh, so what, Carolina, for example? Depends the guy no pet. And the, if it's a big one or it's a little one, and if I know the pet before take care, taking care of it. Okay, yes. There are some people that and, they have yeah. snakes as pets or spiders. Right, so imagine you taking yeah. care of a, a, a snake in your house. Oh my goodness. All right, excellent. Oh, that's another one. Help me move into my new apartment. This one right here. I don't like when, you know, you have to move to a different house. It's so stressful, right? Oh, yeah. I don't have problem with that. I, li I like to help in that, in that case. All right, so like, you know, it's it's so tight in and it's stressful, right? But of course, when it's not yours, because you are basically helping someone to take the yeah. things from one house to another one. But yes, the person who carry. is in the house has to organize everything. All right. Hmm. So it's different. Okay. It's different, exactly. All right. So yes, of course, if we're talking only about like moving the things, we're fine. But organizing the things, that's your job. Right. So let's see the next one. Let me borrow your homework. Ah, remember those times when you were in the school? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it depends. It's ah, also it depends. Uh -huh. Of what? Uh, depends if uh, the one who's uh, asking you uh, is a lazy person or if he or she had an emergency. Ah, but if the lazy person is your friend? No, I... <laughs> I don't have friends who are lazy. <laughs> ah, okay. That's actually I a good like, point. I don't like that kind of person. <laughs> okay, that kind of people. All right, very good. Excellent. So, and then you go with this one right here. Oh, my goodness, people. This is actually like, the oh, my God, the biggest one here. All right. Let me stay at your place for a while. Would you Would you do that, people? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. 
No, you mind if I go like, hello, you know, I have problems in my house with whatever yes. person I live with. All right, so, you know, can you please let me stay in your place for a while? Maybe mm -hmm. a couple of days, a week, mm -hmm. some weeks. Mm -hmm. right? So, and then it's like yes. living with you forever. Oh my uh, goodness. All right, yeah. so I guess that's especially very dedicated, they're very delicate, right? So, well, let's see here. Now that we have reviewed the favors that people dislike being asked, which I, I, I agree with all of them. So we don't like to being asked for those favors, right? Unless, mm -hmm. as you said before, it's a person we trust or we love. Why not? Mm -hmm. All right. So then uh, we are going to go with the questions we have here at the end. So we can discuss them here together, right, people? Right. The number one, who can help me to read the question number one here? Uh -huh. Who can help me to read this question? Uh, which of these favors, favors will bother you the most? Which will bother you the least? All right. We have been discussing that a little bit meanwhile we were the checking the vocabulary, but now you can extend your answer here and tell us why, for example. Thank you. What about number two? Number two, number two. Uh -huh. Just for reading the question, please. Go ahead, Water Carolina. Free. Oh, I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry. No, Go it's ahead. okay. It's okay. Carolina, it's okay. All right, you can help me with number three, George. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. What are three other favors that you dislike being asked? Ah, okay. So, uh, uh, you know, other three, like besides the ones we have here, other favors that you don't like to be asked for. What what ideas um come to your mind whenever you see that question? Hmm? Uh, maybe lend a book. Let, oh, that's another one. It never comes back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you lend? Could you lend me a tool? Would you lend me which one? Excuse me. Tool. Would you lend me tooth? Tool. Tool. Not the toothbrush. Ah. Like, the toothbrush. Toothbrush. Uh, yeah. Are you talking about never. tools? Oh, uh, to I think ah, tooth. tools. Toothbrush. toothbrush. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, but but this is uncomfortable, right? So really <laughs> no, I mean I don't think you don't do that, not even with your couple. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Right. So so that's like perhaps toothpaste. Perhaps. Uh, well yes. Yeah, it's like different. You know, more acceptable, but not okay, <laughs> right? Oh. So if you want to say like that. All right, excellent. So and then um Let's just go with the last one. Okay, George, you can help me with the last one now. Okay. Imagine that a close friend asks you each of these favors. What would you say? Uh -huh. What would you say, right? A close friend, you might say yes, right? Uh, well, I don't know, depending on the favor as well, right? Yes. So great, okay. excellent. So, well, let's see here. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, excellent. So, well, let's do this one. Let's discuss those um, things right here. Um, but I guess it would be a better idea if you move to breakout room so you can have the opportunity to talk to different people here and share your thoughts regarding this one. So let me just move you here. I'm going to organize the breakout rooms right now. Please remember that if you know your classmates don't join the breakout room or you are alone, just call me and I will just move you immediately to a different one, okay? Yes. All right. Excellent. Hey, have you taken the screenshot for this activity so you can share it on the group? No. Yes. No. Yes, I can. Uh, let me verify. Me teacher. Would you do it now? Yeah. Let me clean. Okay. This one. You can see that. All right. Thank you. I can see it now. All right, everybody. There you have your request to join the room. So please do it and we will go back in perhaps no longer than four minutes. All right, all right.
Mr. Carlos Martinez, are you online? Yes, teacher, I'm oh. here. Okay, so I barely hear you participating in the classes. Can you join the um the room, please? Sister, you can go to number six, please. Okay, Evis, are you there or are you what? Are you the one having issues? Are you one of the one um, driving, right? Carla Melissa, hello, good evening. Are you online? Hello, Ingrid. Oh, Ingrid's joining. Hello, Ingrid. Hi, teacher. All right. What happened? Or are you just joining the class right now? Sorry, teacher. I can't. Okay, very good. So you, you cannot participate. Okay, no, got it. No problem. All right. Oh, okay. Let me just move this one right here. For... Thank you, Carla Melissa. Okay, very good. All right, very good job. So let's see. Ingrid is having, are you having connection issues, Ingrid? No, no, it is a good picture. All right, excellent. So I'm going to assign you to a different room right now, okay? Sorry? I'm going to send you to a, uh, a breakout room, okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, my friends. So, what happens? Mm, I, I don't hear no, my my another partner. Carlos, partner. are you busy? Are you working, my friend? No, I'm here now. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I never hear hear him. All right. Uh, I mean, if you cannot participate, it's okay. Just let me know so I. I will assign Alejandro to a different group. Can you participate in the activity, Carlos? Yes. All right, so let's start, let's just start. Okay. And which of these favors will bother you the most? Um, lend some money, I guess. Yeah, me too. And, 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 yeah, that someone let me use my car. <laughs> I think that never ask you if 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 he or she lend you your your hairbrush. No, no, your hairbrush is is right. Like is, is pain, is pain, uh, pain, uh, pain uh, or Correct. cepillo. No, well, cepillo para el pelo. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, and cepillo de dientes. How do you say cepillo de dientes? It says toothbrush. Toothbrush. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, ask me. Ask me, Carlos. Okay. I'm search the image. I, I don't know what's the question. Uh, ah. Let me share it. Which which of these papers will bother you the most? 
Yeah, the, the, that can be the second one, right? Or no? What are three other papers that you dislike being asked? Mm, okay. Uh, let me use your car. Uh, let, let me some money. And let me stay at your place for a while. <laughs> and and you? What, you what like are... Uh -huh. I guess help me move into my new apartment. Take mm -hmm. care of my feet while I'm away. Mm -hmm. And... Let my me pet. borrow your homework. Pet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imagine that I that I, that a close friend asked you uh, each of these favors. What would you say? Um. Um. I guess I say I can do it. back to you and something. Okay, bye-bye. Like bye-bye? What? You finished? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. You guys finished? I yes, teacher. Yes, all right, no problem. So yes, it's time for us to go back to the main room. Please, let's do it. Okay, thank you. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back from the breakout rooms. I haven't heard you tonight, Milagro. What happens? You're so shy. No, mister, I'm sorry, but I, I'm having some problems with my earphones. I guess they are not with my mic. Oh, uh, okay. It's not working correctly. Mm -hmm. I'm nice. sorry. I have been trying to give my opinion during mm -hmm. the class, but it has been impossible to me. All right. Yeah, I understand. Thank you very much for informing me about that. But I can Thank actually you. listen that it's better now, so you can participate now. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. So let's see here. Okay, excellent. So I need some volunteers so they can answer the questions we have there. So we'll be three volunteers, one per question. So we're going to be volunteer number one. Raise your hand, please. All right. So volunteer, volunteer. Excellent, Roberto, go ahead. So which of these papers would you, will bother you the most? And which one will bother you the least? Roberto, the microphone, please. Sorry. No problem. Uh, the most for me, I should, it should be, let me use your car. Could you let me use your car? Mm -hmm. And the least I think will be, and let me borrow your homework or help me move into my new apartment. Okay, great. That sounds like, you know, something that we'll agree with. All right. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. We are going to move to the next question, but I don't know if anybody else would like to share the answer for the first question. No? No. Okay. Question number two. Volunteer for question number two. Uh huh. Oh, come on, everybody. You were talking a lot during the breakout rooms. Cesar, tell me. Okay, that uh, it's something that uh, bothers me mm -hmm. that you are making a line and someone tells you, Can I get in in front of you? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true, right? So you have been queuing for a long time and then somebody says like excuse me can i right and you know sometimes what happens is when you are using the public transportation the bus and you have been waiting for a long time at the bus stop and someone who just arrived gets into the bus before you hmm. thank you yeah i couldn't agree more with you all right what about the last one number three number three number three if, if somebody oh, the last one yeah Like imagine that a close friend asks you to each of these favor, what would you say? Mm -hmm. 
Hello. <laughs> in some one I will say it's okay. In other ones I will say sorry for that. I can. All right. Yeah, couldn't agree more with you, right? Just one observation, yeah. George. Remember you said in someone. It will be in some of them. In some of them. Yes. Sorry. No problem, right? Remember someone is for people. All right. Yeah. So oh, you want to share an answer, Renee? Thing. Okay, uh, for me, I don't like when the other person asked me about uh, staying in my home, in my house for a moment, for a for a while. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. Right, so it's your privacy at the end. All right, so absolutely, right? Any other person who wants to share the answers? Carolina, go ahead. One of the most disgusting things uh, that someone can ask for mm -hmm. is uh, when somebody touch your food because they want you to share the food with them. I don't know what, what you say, pellizcar mm -hmm. your food. Right, so they want to take a piece of your food, right? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah I agree. couldn't agree more with you than that one. All right, so like yeah. that. Very good, excellent. Do you know? Do you know what that happens to me since I met my wife? <laughs> he he always is taking a little a, a part of food of what what I am eating, and I asked her before, "Do you want something?" No, thank you. Okay, I order. After that, <laughs> he's taking. <laughs> I don't like. All that. right, so he always pinch food, right? So. Oh Thanks my God! For, that, thank you. That, that is that is um, you know, part of being married, I guess, right? So, well, that happens. that happens. That happened for me for thirty thirty two years. Oh, you better get used to it, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for right. me, teacher, for me, that happens with my mom. Oh really? Yeah, About I'm the food? probably yeah, I'm probably even cut it some some vegetable or some fruit in the kitchen. And she she came to the kitchen watching what I'm doing. And then she grabbed something without any asking. And well, I can't say nothing. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with you, right? So, oh my God, especially because it's your mother, so you cannot tell too you much to mother, them. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have to. All right, exactly, all right. Thank yeah. you, thank you, that was interesting, all right? So, Renee, you want to add something else or no? No, it's, uh, it's uh, a dislike that the other person asking you about the uh, use a place for a while. And uh, another question is when the other people uh, have a dangerous pet in, in and have that you take care of their, their pet pets. For me, it's very hard. Yeah, it's actually true, right? Because, um, you know, it's, you don't know like how the, if the pet could be violent at the end. All right, so thank you. Um, All um, right. And what, what about if someone asking you uh, to be a co-saver in a borough of the money of, uh, in any bank? At any bank. No, that's not a good idea. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know. No, I no, don't no. like that. No, because because I, mean, I don't like that. I don't. I don't ask anyone for that. No, that's that's actually true. You know, I. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't do anything that I wouldn't everybody to ask me, right? Yeah. Um, and then, um, yeah, and that's that's not only uncomfortable but dangerous, actually. Yeah, it is. Because, like, imagine the person asks for a lot of money and then the person disappears. You are obligated legally to pay for it, right? To pay for it, yeah. Yeah, so no, no, thank you. You know, I prefer that the person gets mad at me for that one and not the person disappears, gets mad at me and have a them. No, no, thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, couldn't agree more with that one. Thank you for bringing all those things into the conversation, George. All right, so let's see. Now, quick activity here, which is the activity number two. This is gonna be very simple. We're going to like review here 
what is um, this conversation. We're going to role play it. And then we will have some couples participating on this one. It's a conversation between Rod and uh, Jan Jana. All right. So he says, hello. Hi, Rod. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. What's up? I'm going to my best friend's wedding this weekend, and I'd love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrow your new digital camera? Mm, no, that's okay, I guess. I don't think I need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Uh, have you used a digital camera before? It's sort of complicated. Uh, uh, sure, a couple of times. Would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? Yes, I guess so. All right, so super simple. No, actually difficult vocabulary, right? So in, let's see what is it here. I need my first two volunteers, my first road and my first um, Jane yeah. there, all right? So who is going to be that one? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, volunteers. Uh, that one? Is, is Jaina or is Jana? Jana. Excuse me? Is Jaina or is Jana? It's Jana. Jana. Jana, okay. all right? Jana. Jana. It's like, like, no, like, completely Jana, no, completely Jana. It's like an A, Jana. right? Jana. Jana. Mm, okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, so like that. Thank you. So I have Jose Alejandro and Lucia Elena. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, teacher. I'm I'm Rod, right? Correct. Okay, hello. Hi, Rod. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. What's up? I'm going to my best friend wedding. This weekend, I'd love to take some picture for this website. Uh, would you mind if I borrow your new digital camera? Um, no, that's okay, I guess. I don't think I'll need it for anything. Thanks, a million. Sure. Um, have you used a digital camera before? It's it's short. It, no, it's sort of com, com, it's sort of complicated. Complicated. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> um sure, a couple of times. Will it be okay if pick it on Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. All right, very good, excellent. Thank you very much on this one. So you were doing a very good job. It, just one observation right there. Remember that when you're asking questions, so there must be certain intonation you need to do at the end, right? Like, for example, uh, would you mind if I borrow your new digital camera? Like that, all right? So, sure. because it's a question, right? Excuse me? No, nothing. All right, excellent. So, or you go like, for example, have you used a digital camera before? All right, that one, it's like that. But then everything else regarding pronunciation was good, right, Jaina? Remember, all right. Teacher, so, but uh, that 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 word, uh, uh, how uh, how do you say? Uh, sure. Uh, how do you use the the U and an H? How do you say? Uh, oh, ah, uh, uh, ha. Oh. Like no, it's not ha because it's like uh, 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 uh exactly oh, that one. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Like like are they like when you're wondering like uh, uh okay mm -hmm. okay okay exactly all right thank you who are going to be my next two volunteers i have marilyn and i need someone else where is it norma all right then i got stephanie for the next round all right so i don't know you can be who's gonna be uh okay senia it's going to be the next one, okay? Very good. So, Marilyn and Norma, right now. Okay, I'll be Rod. You'll be Rod. Okay, fine. Hello. Hi, Rod. This is Yana. Oh, hi, Yana. What's up? I'm going to my girlfriend's wedding this weekend. I'm going to say some pictures for this website. Or to my your new digital camera um no that's okay i guess i don't think i'll need it for anything thanks Amelia. sure um have you used a digital camera before 
it's sort of complicated. Uh -huh. Sure, I hope sometimes work is okay. If I think it's uh, on Friday night. Yeah, I guess so. All right, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, my friends. You did it wonderfully. All right, so then don't forget like to um, speak a little bit faster, right? So you can continue with the intonation as well right there. Thank you. Uh, right now I can see Monica and Senia. All right, go ahead, my friends. Okay, I am Rose. Hello. Hi, Rose. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. What's up? I'm going to my best friend's wedding this weekend. I love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I wore out your new digital camera? Mm, no, that's okay, I guess. I don't think I will need, will need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Um, have you used a digital camera before? It's sort of complicated. Uh, sure. A couple of times. Will it Will it be okay if I if I pick it up on um, Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Great. Excellent. Thank you very much, my friends, for participating on that activity. All right. So, well, do you have questions about any words or vocabulary on this conversation? No. No. All right. So oh. let's just move to this one right here, which is activity number three. All right. So we're going to talk about requests with models, with clauses and gerunds, of course. Right. So we have a variety here of those things. Right. How can you basically ask for favors, you know? using different model verbs or clauses, um, and also gerunds, right? So let's see. Those one right here, we are coming from the less formal to the more formal um, ways to ask for something, right? This one is like, can I borrow your pencil? Or like, can you help me? Can I talk to you? Can you please come with me? All right, you know, that's a very common thing here. And you can ask to anybody for. Then you go with the next one, cool. Could you lend me a jacket? Could you please explain that to me? Could you please pay attention? Could you please turn your camera on, for example? And things like that. Then you go here with if. This one right here, it is called if clauses because as you can see here, they include if whenever you use them and there are many of them, all right? So like this one. And you go on this one. So is it okay if I use your phone or is it okay if I... Uh, go to the party with my friends or is it okay if I talk about this one etc right or do you mind if I use this one or will it be okay if I pick up on Friday or would you mind if I borrow this one now take a look to something right here with this one the mother birds you're going to use the birds in base form when you're talking about this one's right here would you mind or will it be okay you're going to use the verbs in past. Do you see that? So you see like picked and borrowed. Those verbs are in past because you're talking about would, you, would it be okay or would you mind? All right, so did you, did you get that my friends? Yes or no? Yes. All right, remember when you use it, would it be okay or would you mind? And then if, and then this one has to be here in past, only with those two. Then the rest, it's actually base form. Then this one, would you mind here? Ya empezamos con los eh, gerunds. So we are going to start using the gerunds. You go on this one right here. Would you mind letting me use your laptop or would you mind waiting for me here? Would you mind calling me after the class, etc. right? And then I wonder if I could borrow some money. I wonder if I can here. Again, tenemos un verbo en pasado because I am here. here. I wonder if, right? Because of my clause if right here. Y tenemos aquí, I was wondering if you would mind letting me, vamos con ING here. Entonces todo esto va siempre en la misma oración. I was wondering if you would mind, right? Te importaría, me preguntaba si te importaría, basically that's what it means. I was wondering if you would mind ending me, uh, lending me your car, for example. All right, so. Well, that's are basically like the expressions we can use to ask for favors, right? From the less formal to the more formal ones. 
Do you have questions about those expressions, my friends? Yes or no? No questions? No. Well, you say no questions now, we will see if it's true. Huh? Uh, teacher, I, um, I have a, a little bit difficult about borrow and lend. Sometimes I... Uh-huh. I understand me. Uh, I I I I confuse with with those terms. Borrow and lend. No worries. Let me explain that to you right now. All right. So then, borrow. It's when you are the one asking for something to somebody else. You know, mm -hmm. like for example, say like, oh, Patricia, I forgot my wallet. Can you can 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 I borrow you five dollars? Okay. You know what I'm saying. All right. So. Yeah. I'm asking you for that one. I'm asking you, can I borrow you $5, All right? So, or uh, I want to use something like, oh, you know, I forgot my phone. I need to call my mom. Can I borrow your phone, right? So I'm asking for that, right? But then when you use cool, someone is going to give that to you, all right? So, and then when you ask for that one, it says like, could you lend me, all right? Because it's just like, uh, Putting into, if you want like to clarify this one, so I will use Spanish to specify the translations, right? So borrow will be just like eh, pedir prestado or tomar prestado, all right? It's, it's in Spanish, it's almost the same. Right. <laughs> just, you use the same word, but uh, can I say, can you lend me your pencil? And, and is it the same thing that if, if I say, can I borrow your pencil? Uh, no. No. Can you uh, lend me your pencil? That would is actually correct because I understand this is like you're asking for something to somebody mm -hmm. else, right? So that's okay. Can you lend me your, like, your, your pencil in this case you said, right? So it's going to be like that. Can you lend me your pencil? You're asking that person to give you the pen. Mm -hmm. or a pencil in this case, right? Or, or, or the same, can I borrow your pencil? You can actually use that one, but it's just, it's just like, puedo tomar prestado tu objeto, uh -huh. all right? So like that one. Now, very similar if you put it in context, right? But it's depending on how you say it. For example, if I said, Patricia, eh, can I borrow your laptop? So it's like, puedo tomar prestado tu laptop, okay. right? Okay. So, or... Yeah, it, or like if I said, could you let me? That would be just like, Patricia, sorry, could you let me your laptop, right? Podrías tú prestarme a mí la laptop. En vez de que yo la tome de una sola vez, solo te informe. You know what I'm saying? Yes. 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 Excuse me, I'm sorry. I remember that when I was studying, my teacher told us that borrow is when you take the object. That's what I'm saying, all right? Uh -huh. so, and lead is what is when somebody else give you the object well that mm -hmm. is correct that is correct all right so uh, but in this question like for example patricia is putting into context all right so it's asking like you're asking someone to give you the object all right so what i was saying for example can i open an example the laptop if i said patricia can i borrow your um, laptop practically like you know like you know what i'm saying all right, so me llevo tu laptop, right? Or if I said, eh, could you lend me your laptop? So I'm just like, you know, como decía eh, Milagros, con el borrow, ya prácticamente ya me estoy llevando la laptop, you know? So I'm just letting Patricia, no vaya Patricia, then tu laptop, gracias, right? So, but eh, with lend, all right, so I'm just asking Patricia to give me the permission to use the laptop, for example. All right, so... Like, that's basically, like, the difference right there. Is it better now, Patricia? Yeah, yes, it's better. All right, great, excellent. Any other question you might have? No? Teacher, uh, teacher uh, in, in Spanish, is, uh, is barred is como cuando ya los salvadoreños decimos, ah, te agarré tal cosa, o sea, Directamente, yeah. o sea, informando, ya informando más que, más que pidiendo el permiso. Basically, yes. Like that. All right. Okay, okay. And then it's basically when you like, oh, all right, like this one. It's like if you translate them, for example, if you go to Google Translator or any other dictionary, borrow is going to say 
pedir prestado all the time. All right. So in lend, eh, it's going to be like eh, prestar. Right. So basically, like we said this one. Ahora, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Because I saw Patricia's face. All right. So what's the difference there between pedir prestado y prestar? Como decía Milagros, pedir prestado is basically I'm asking for the things. Ya, dámela a mí. La estoy usando, right? Y pedir prest y prestar. La otra persona es... Creo que un context sin as questions, Patricia, this will be clear. Let's put it in this way. Patricia, I go to you and say, like, Patricia, can I borrow you $5? Right? ¿Quién está pidiendo el dinero? Me, right? So I'm mm -hmm. going to ask for that to you. Pero Patricia sabe que le debo cinco dólares de la vez pasada. All right, mm -hmm. so entonces she's going to say like, JJ, I will lend you the five dollars. Ahí Patricia no me puede decir, I am going to borrow you the five dollars. Porque si ella me dice mm -hmm. en inglés, I'm going to borrow you the five dollars, ella me está pidiendo entonces a mí five dollars. Mm -hmm. All right, entonces ella me dice, okay, JJ, I will lend you the five dollars, but pay them back to me tomorrow. If not, I will call the police, for example. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess it's better without the question sentence. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, more questions? No questions? Very good. Let's go with the last activity for tonight, which is going to be this one right here. All right. So let's see. Tenemos aquí un par de casos. We have here some situations. Excuse me for the Spanish. All right. We have here some situations where you guys are going to be asking for something. For example, it says right here, you want to borrow your classmates on their camera for, on their water camera, sorry, for a diving trip. All right. So then how would you ask for it to your classmate or to your, yeah, to your classmate for that one using wondering? Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you would. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to use borrow here for sure, right? If you want it. Uh -uh. Let's just go uh -huh. back to this one. One second. If you borrowed. I was wondering. If you don't, if you mind. If you will mind. If you borrowing. mind. Uh -huh. bor borrowed. Uh -huh. Borrowed me your uh, underwater camera. Uh -huh. So will that be borrowed or lent? You go with the question again. <laughs> uh -huh. I was wondering if you borrowed, if you mind, if you mind borrowed. All right. Uh, exactly. Borrowing. No, borrowing in todo el caso, ¿verdad? All right. Borrowing. Why? Borrowing. Because after I was wondering, you use if if you would mind, if I would mind, if you would mind. Uh -huh. If you would mind. Uh, borrowing. ¿Qué es borrowing, in, Patricia? En ING, en ING form, ¿oh? What is borrowing? Borrowing. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is borrow, basically? Ah, uh, ask somebody to 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 give me something. All right. And what is lend? A lend is uh, if I give the person the thing. To this, this one. Entonces, si yo te pregunto, Patricia, ¿te importaría darme tu cámara? Uh-huh, barrel. Are you sure? Oh, but yes. It, but it's yeah. talking in the sense he's talk, he's talking to the other person. He can do this action. Right, uh -huh. so exactly. That exactly. Change. Barrel. <laughs> well, we, no? tonight we're gonna have a two hours class. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Let me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, vamos a aquí. Sorry, like I will use a little bit of Spanish to avoid this confusion. All right. Uh -huh. So, well, it says right here, my friends, uh, the following. Esa situación de acá es nada más la situación explicada. Este es el escenario, right? That's the scenario. All right. So, luego, aquí la persona va a hacer la pregunta a la persona B. Mm -hmm. All right. So, exactly. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. El escenario dice, tú quieres, to, I mean, you want to borrow. Es decir, tú quieres tomar prestada la cámara. Uh -huh. right. Y ahora, ¿cómo sería yo pedirle prestada la cámara okay. a esa persona? I okay. was wondering. Uh, uh, 
if you will mind uh, to lend me or lending me. If you will wondering lending, lending me your underwater camera. Your underwater or, camera. Under water camera. Come. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, Mary, you were saying this one. Would you agree with this answer? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. because it's uh -huh. I was saying this that he's asking for something to borrow, but at the same time, he's talking about this person to uh -huh. exactly. lending. Ahí el, el, el truco estaba en el escenario que nos planteaba, right? So the scenario that they yeah. were explaining there, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's just go for the next one. You want to use your roommate's computer, right? This is the scenario. So you want to use your roommate's computer. Is it okay? Very good. Let's continue with this one. Is it okay if... It is okay if I, if I, if I use your computer. Yay. There you go. If I use your computer. Thank you. All right. And then you have the answer. You can use it, but please save my work first. Number three, it says your neighbor has a car and you need a ride to class. Right. So what's the question? Ahí no tenemos el principio de ninguna. So I can put it like the one you, the one I want. It's this Would one, for example, mind? this one. Could you give me a ride to class? That would be a good one. Why not, mm -hmm. right? Could you mm -hmm. give me a ride to class? All right. I see about. That's the way you write it. Right. Oh. Right. Ah, mm -hmm. very good. R-I-D-A. No. No. R-I-D-A. D-E. R I. I-D-E. -E. Hey, there you go. Okay, so I'm just checking. <laughs> Could you give mm -hmm. me a ride to class, right? Mm-hmm. Aquí está, people. Right? So, very good. So, let's see. Uh, number four, you want a friend to help you move on Sundays. What will that be? Saturday. On Saturday. Oh my goodness, I'm thinking about Sunday. Sorry. Uh huh. I was wondering. Uh, if for you, example, if you rem will mind. <laughs> rem remember, que, like in this one, the answer is the one you prefer to use, right? So, eh, en la primera siempre que nos daba la pauta, eso was giving us the example, like the answer they want to use, right? So it goes like this one. You want here a friend? So I was wondering, you said, right? Yes, I was wondering if you will mind. I was mind. wondering if, if you, you will mind. Will mind. Uh, helping me helping to move. Me to move. To move. On Saturday. On Saturday. All right. There is an extra word in that sentence. Who can tell me what is it? Two. Very good. Help me move on Saturday, all right? Awesome, thank you. The number five, all right? So you want to borrow your cousin's DVD of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. What will be the answer here? Hello, people? Uh -huh. Can you Can you lend me your... DVD of Spider-Man. You let me your DVD of Spider-Man. Like that one. Thank you. And the last one, the last one, my friend, so we can go to sleep. All right. You would like a second piece of your aunt's cherry pie. Uh-huh. Oh my god. <laughs> so what is it? Like uh -huh. What would that be? Can I have a second piece of pie? Can I, I have? have a second piece of pie? Like that. 
Very good. Excellent. Can I have a second piece of uh, pie? Very good. Excellent. Thank you, my friends, for helping me uh, solving all the exercises and participating actively in the class. I know we have taken some extra minutes, but I guess it was necessary. In a moment, I will share some information in the group about like land and borrow. So it's going to be, you know, better, Thank I mean, you. clear for you so you can actually use it in a better way. All right. Thank you, everybody. Teacher. Have teacher. a wonderful the, the night. The attendance teacher. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> no, no worries. I will take it from the from this from Zoom. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't want to take more time from you. So go and sleep uh, peacefully. All right. So. Okay. Thank good. you. Thank Have you. a good night. Have Thank you. Bye. Nice night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, George. Yeah, in the number three, uh -huh. uh, I think uh, uh, could you give me a ride? That is absolutely right, George. That was my typo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was missing the me there. Yeah. But yeah, that was actually the original answer. You're right. Okay. Thank you. Have You're a very good welcome, one. You're welcome, my friend. You too. Take care. Yeah.